Hi guys, it's me, Alea, and <laughs> uh, this is a continuation of the saga of moving on in an enchanted life. I am halfway through, no, I'm not even halfway through, I'm part the way through packing up my once lovely apartment, which actually is still a lovely apartment, but I'm not going to be here. <laughs> um, but I'm packing it up and getting rid of things and um, downsizing so that when I make my next move, which I haven't told you guys about because it's not set yet, but when I make my next move, um, I won't have nearly so much so many things to move but right now I have a lot of things to move and a lot of things that I've accumulated over the last 12 years and this whole process of getting rid of things and um, clearing things out and deciding what really is important and realizing that when I put something aside and say, oh, I don't think I want to get rid of that, I actually don't have a use for it. It's just that I think I might need it one day. And I'm noticing uh, something that, uh, yeah, I, I, I've got, I've got some friends who are way more mobile than me. I mean, way, way, way more mobile. And they've always been more mobile than me, even when I lived in my RV. And what I'm noticing is that a lot of times when I say, oh, I'm going to get rid of this, and then I don't because I think that, oh, I'm going to use it one day. The truth is, I don't, have an, I don't have a use for it. I don't even have anything that I'm thinking about using it for. It's just that, oh, I don't want to get rid of it because if I get rid of it and then I need it, I have to buy it again. And, oh, what if I don't have the money? And therein lies the issue because... If I'm truly prosperous, then I'm not going to be thinking about whether or not later I'm going to have the money. Of course I'm going to have the money if whatever it is is something that I need. So this is really getting me in touch with what I think about money and prosperity and um, having what I need and all of that. It's, it's, it's a really interesting concept that I really had not you know, I hadn't given it too much thought before until now. And now all of a sudden I'm realizing and looking at my my thought processes around getting rid of stuff. And I'm like, oh, I'm feeling like I may not have what I need later on. So it's been a constant um, process of 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 letting go and going okay I'm fine I'm okay I'm okay I'm okay and and then the rest of it is the the whole you know explaining to my landlord why I'm moving because it's really and and to other people too because in actual and to myself <laughs> and to myself because in actuality um, I think the truth is I lived in a almost thousand square foot apartment um, and I used two rooms. I used the kitchen and the, well, three rooms. I used the kitchen, the bedroom, and the bathroom. And those were all the rooms that I used in this great big apartment. And at the time that I rented it, I thought, oh, I'm going to have friends come to visit and whatnot. Well, that didn't happen because I was always busy. And and whatever, it didn't happen. So when I decided that I'm going to get rid of this great big place and move into a place that's smaller, way smaller, um, part of me said I'm moving into a place that's smaller because I don't need as much space as I have. Another part of me said the reason I'm moving into a place that's smaller is because I, it's more affordable. And part and and it's interesting it's like it's easier for me to justify moving to a smaller place because it's more affordable than it is for me to justify moving to a smaller place because I wasn't using the space that I had and and when I go to talk to people about it I find myself explaining that oh the place I had was too expensive and having people easily understand that more easily understand that than they understand um, oh, I wasn't using all the space that I had. 
And so this is this has been this is becoming a really interesting process in how I think, how um, my friends think, how the people around me think, and also in shifting how I want to think, because once I get a light shined on the way that I'm thinking, it's like, okay, do I want to continue thinking this way? And the answer is no. And so it's like, hmm, all right, then what do I have to do to change this? And how can I change it um, without making myself wrong? Because I'm not wrong. It's just that my thinking needs to shift because that thinking isn't serving me. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's a process. And thank you guys for joining me. Oh, look at what was my apartment. <laughs> um, I'm going to just turn around here so you guys can see. Um, the walls are starting to get empty and, you know, there's boxes everywhere. And what's really interesting about this is this apartment came to me fully furnished, um, completely furnished with everything that I would possibly need to have a beautiful life here in Hawaii. The place that I'm moving to also is fully furnished, but it is one-tenth the size of this place. So all of a sudden, I'm having to get rid of a lot of stuff, and it's an interesting experience. If you guys have any um, pointers on letting stuff go, and, and, and I don't mean like hoarding kind of stuff because I don't do that. But I just have accumulated a lot of things that I'm like, oh, I might need this. Oh, I might need this. And I don't need it. And so <laughs> I'm like having to let it go and having to let it go knowing that if I need it later, I can get the same thing again if I need it. The chances are I'm not going to need it. And, you know, I'm looking at that with, with the motorhome. I thought that, oh, I can't get rid of the motorhome. I need to keep it because I might need it. And the truth is, it's sat in storage for 12 years. I need to get rid of things because once I'm done using them, they're done. And that's the reason I used to walk away from apartments. And I don't know why I, I stopped doing that, but I need to get back to it. Anyway, this is my little journey right now. I didn't want you guys to think that I had literally fallen off the side of the earth. Yes, there are videos coming for um, healthy eating as well as business on a shoestring. I've got some good business on a shoestring stuff that's, that's recorded. It just hasn't been edited. But, oh, nice stuff. So, until next time, love you guys. Subscribe to these videos. Give me a thumbs up. Um, like my Facebook page or subscribe to my Facebook page so you can keep up with what I'm doing because there's some exciting stuff coming. It's exciting and I'm, I'm excited. Once I get through this move, I'll be more excited. <laughs> Aloha for now. Take care. <laughs>